Hey guys, welcome back to All About The Popcorn. My name is Stephanie. Thank you all for clicking on this video. If you're someone who enjoys talking about film, or in this case, ranking videos, then how about clicking that subscribe button. With Spiral, the book of Saul coming out just a week ago, I thought it would be fun to go ahead and rank all nine Saw films from my least favorite to my favorite. Now, I personally do really enjoy the Saw franchise. I don't actually hate or despise any of the movies. That's why I said from my least favorite and not from the worst to the best. Coming in ninth place would be 2017's Jigsaw. The prequel, right? Prequel? Reboot? almost rebooting it type of movie oh also we are going to be talking spoilers except for spiral since that one just came out but everything else since it's been out for years trying not to give too many oh am i kidding once we get to the earlier ones we're going to talk about because those have been out for years and years and years so okay here we go jigsaw number nine for some reason i did not see it when it came out in 2017 i just saw it a few weeks ago because i was uh doing like a little marathon yeah i wasn't impressed to be honest with you um of course we do have like that twist of it being like a parallel or like not a parallel like two different storylines between the prequel and then like the current time this is kind of like how john crane was started off with like his first apprentice and how he started kind of murdering or you know capturing the people for them to kill them because so, you know he said multiple times he is not a murderer um now the traps in this uh, movie i mean they were decent enough obviously it does look um better because it did come out in 2017 so moving on to number eight and that's gonna be saw seven or saw 3d the final chapter now of course because this was filmed with that 3d effect the way that it looks a lot of these things unless you know you're seeing it in 3d which i don't have a 3d tv i don't have the little glasses so like when you get this like really fake almost pinkish blood does not really look well they obviously do a lot of these traps to have that 3d kind of effect towards it i don't really think they were thinking long term with this movie i mean i'm sure like in the theater should probably look a tad bit better but you know i don't think they fully thought about it once this hit you know like dvd blu-ray i'm terrible with people's names you guys in this one we have this stupid ass man who writes a book acting like he's a freaking survivor of jigsaw and then of course he gets captured and his whole team gets captured excluding his wife poor wife had no idea that he was lying who on their right mind you guys will act like they were captured by this man and put through a trap a dumbass man that's who because i would be fearing of what happened to this man would happen to me i'm like you know what this jigsaw he don't fucking play uh-huh yes you know what not not based on a true story that's what i'm gonna be putting on my book and then we have the story with hoffman and jill jill ends up putting hoffman in the reverse bear trap but you know he you know is able to stop it and half his face is off and now hoffman is like after jill and there's this stupid ass scene you guys when jill's trying to run for her life and the way she's running it looks like <laughs> like no joke you guys look like from grand theft auto and i know a lot of people are huge fans of hoffman as a villain personally i'm just really not here for him and i'm just like how do you not realize that he's the bad guy like he's obviously the bad guy so moving on to number seven and that's gonna be saw four so this is where we're following um riggs and his inability to follow directions and not going into a room without permission you have to wait until it's good and clear you don't just like barge into a room and i do like how we do get that closing with uh donnie Wahlberg. um i like that we got him back um even though we do lose them i'm trying to remember you guys after a while they kind of like all blend in because the storyline with these movies you guys if you've never seen the song movies actually all like you know gold together mm, the traps in this movie i guess the most interesting one's probably with like that rapist guy he got his like limbs you know flown apart and stuff that might have been the most interesting one. Oh, the hair scalp that one was cool too they really didn't know where to go with the franchise after this it's kind of like the first three parts they're great which with that you'll know how high up they're gonna be on the list we're gonna keep moving on to number six and this is probably where i'm gonna lose a lot of y'all because a lot of people are big big fans of this part right here as libby saw six you guys 
where, where we're dealing with the insurance companies. Obviously, the biggest and most iconic trap here is the uh, merry-go-round shotgun trap. Yes, that's really cool. Yes, it is. But I just... We're gonna keep moving on because I can't remember. I'm telling you, everything kind of mixes mixes the way in there and i only have like really small little bit of notes you guys yeah i know how bad my note taking is but we are moving on to number five and that's going to bring us to the newest installment spiral from the book of saw this is from the point of view of the cops this is kind of what's happening from the legal standpoint and not necessarily what's happening within the traps um, we don't really actually see too many traps within this particular film which is I guess okay it kind of I feel brings us back to the first one when you really don't see too much you see little flashes here and there and that's pretty much what's going on here one of the big ne negatives though about the movie is that you are able to figure out who the killer is very quickly like well I think like about midway through the movie I think that's kind of what it happened so coming in at number four would be Saw 5 now one of my favorite things about the traps involved is that it is teamwork ultimately right that's kind of like the twist at the end all of them honestly should have survived each game for there at the end when they have to kind of stick their hand in that saw deal to fill up the pints of blood you know, you really didn't have to lose a whole freaking arm and saw it off like these two, the last two standing. We also get a little backstory on how Hoffman and John um, kind of ended up meeting and how they ended up basically, you know, teaming up to form this alliance. So this is also when we get the two agents, you know, battling each other, Hoffman and, um, I cannot say his name, Luke from Gilmore Girls, you know, because he knows what's happening. He said, no, this motherfucker. Yes, y'all are blind, but I'm telling y'all, he looks very suspect here. Okay, you guys, final three. I really have been struggling on how I want to do these. Actually, before I do that, before I do that, you guys, <laughs> if you haven't yet, go ahead and give this video a like, subscribe to the channel. If you haven't yet, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that I post something new. I am trying to hit 400 subscribers before the end of the month. It is my birthday month. You can help me hit that goal, you guys, of 400 subscribers. I am like 50 subscribers away, so I'm very close. So if you have been coming back and you haven't yet subscribed, perfect time for you to subscribe, you guys. All right, coming in, third place. Have I changed my mind? I changed my mind. Okay. Yes, I have changed my mind. I swapped out three and two to two and three. Saw two. Saw two is coming in third place, you guys. I told y'all, you guys. I told y'all. Welcome to my random ranking videos. Great movie, you guys. It is a great sequel. We are in a house. We are, again, in going towards two timelines. Get introduced to Donnie Wahlberg. I don't remember his name in the movie. We also get more time with John Kramer here in the movie. We get to know him a little bit better. It's like one of like two movies I think that we really get time with him and kind of get his reasoning behind a lot of things that he's doing. We get Amanda back in the movie. As far as from the people that were in the house, I only knew one, Beverly Mitchell, which, you know, was Lucy from Seventh Heaven. The traps were cool. I mean, hit of needles. I mean, that was just like, oh my God. Of course, we have Donnie with John and all John asks is for him to just sit down and have a conversation and be patient because that will get us to the twist of the movie. Man, that big guy, I don't know why the hell he was killing people. Like, why can't he just ask, like, to turn around? You can, like, punch somebody or, like, really force them up against the one, like, get the number. There are so many ways that you could have got that number without killing them. We're gonna go ahead and move on to number two, OG Saw. The first one, the one that started it all, the one that got us into that bathroom with Dr. Gordon and that other guy, the photographer, can't recall his name. We have John Kramer in the middle of the floor with that great ending when he gets up. I mean, I didn't see that shit coming, you guys, but it happened. Of course, it is the one that has like the lowest budget. I mean, obviously, nobody knew that this uh, movie, this tiny little, very low budget movie was gonna make it as big as it did like nine movies later, you guys. 
into 2021. Of course, this is where we get introduced to Amanda, survives the iconic uh, backwards um, bear trap, which of course makes it into multiple movies, whether it be actually on somebody or we just see it on the table. But that bear trap has really made its way through each movie. The most annoying people in the movie, honestly, was the, the wife and the daughter. I mean, th they were just terrible, you guys. A terrible. So that brings us to my number one pick. And I know a lot of you are going to be like, Stephanie, why? I don't give a fuck. I like it. It is my list. I totally understand, you guys. Totally understand the main character. Again, I'm terrible with names. But I think his name was Jeff. And I'm just going to call him Jeff. Y'all can correct me down below if that is not his name. But he feels like a Jeff. He is a very unlikable character. Totally, totally agree. 100% very unlikable. I mean, yes, I know he is a grieving father. He's lost his son. But you still have your beautiful daughter. Still needs her dad. I really like the process where he goes each room it is also long i do get it that because he is walking very slowly but the traps here are really cool i mean we have that lady who like is frozen who freezes to death and of course the driver like the bone crusher like ah that one did get me like ah the gore in this movie totally took it to that whole other level like totally don't you guys hate it when you're in the middle of filming and damn battery runs out and then and then we also have the wife who got captured as well we have amanda here who has also gone fully psycho oh a storyline from one of the other ones kind of blends in with this one with hoffman with a certain letter that's involved which we didn't find out was it in saw five or six i don't know again blends in together but again when you watch it you watch it you you, you see it never like you know with this like dog <laughs> collar <laughs> shotgun trap this is the other one where we do get more time with john kramer of course this is also when john kramer died which was a huge mistake honestly they should have kept him alive that's all i'm gonna say you guys about it because i have carried on long enough with this <laughs> this is how i rank the nine saw movies again my list is not the right list it's just my own personal list my own personal preference but go ahead let me know down below how do you rank all of the movies whether you've seen them all or haven't just go ahead and rank the ones that you have seen i totally understand that this uh franchise is not for everybody that's it for me today you guys until next time i'll see you guys at concessions bye <laughs>